Hey, I'm Alex Lam. In this video of Stories of the World, we're going to be talking about the ice house. Ice houses were used before the invention of the refrigerators. It was a building used to store ice, usually built partly or completely underground. They were normally situated close to a natural source of ice, like a river or a lake. Now during winter, ice would be taken into the ice house and insulated against melting with straw or sawdust. The ice would stay frozen for months and sometimes till the next winter. Ice from the ice house was commonly used for the storage of perishable foods, but it was also used for cooling the drinks or making cold desserts. The earliest documentation of ice houses were written on a cuneiform tablet that dated back to 1780 BC. On the tablet, it recorded the construction of an ice house in northern Mesopotamia town of Turka. It was built under the order of Zimrim Lim, the king of Mari, and it was said that never before had any king built such a building. Archaeologists in China have found remains of ice pits from 7th century BC, but no written documentation that the Chinese used them before 1100. BC. Ice houses became a crucial part of the world when international trade became more efficient. Part of New England's economy was the ice trade. Ice was transported from New England in straw packed ships to the southern states of the United States and throughout the Caribbean Sea. A gentleman named Frederick Tudor saw the opportunity and developed the ice trade by constructing ice houses on ports. He also received monopolistic trade agreements and was eventually known as the Ice King. By the middle of the 19th century, he was shipping ice to every major port in Asia, Australia, and South America, in addition to the Caribbean and the South. In the earlier 20th century, most households had a compact version of the ice cell called the ice box, invented by the gentleman named Thomas Moore, who used the ice box to transport butter from his home to the market. With this invention, open up new job opportunities of daily or weekly ice delivery, and a allowed your average household to have a cold storage unit without building a giant ice house. It also opened a new avenue of goods that convenience stores could sell, such as cold beer, milk and eggs. It was all good for the ice industry until refrigerators became commercially available and it killed the ice industry. Businesses that couldn't adapt disappeared, but the ones that could adapt thrive. Fun fact, 7-Eleven started off as an ice house and developed to what it is today. They were first known as totem stores that opened from 7 a.m. till 11 p.m. And he survived by selling eggs, milk, and other items that he kept cool with his ice distribution. In Texas, a lot of ice houses turned into open air bars and eventually the ice house industry phased out. You know, the 20 years that I've been alive, I've never heard of an ice house or mention of it or seen a location or relics of it. It's pretty scary what the refrigerator did to the ice industry. So that's the story of the ice house. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to hear more stories. I'm Alex Lamb and this is Stories of the World.